Lamov was an unmarried man in his mid-thirties. He couldn't get a bride of his choice, but looking at his advancing age and several ailments that he had, he decided to compromise by proposing Natalia for marriage. Natalia was Chobukov's daughter and Lamov's immediate neighbor. Both the families never got along well. Even after that, Lamov thought Natalia to be fairly good-looking, well-educated, and a great housekeeper. So, Lamov visited Chubukov's home. Chubukov is extremely happy to meet him. He asks him to sit down and also inquires why he was wearing an evening dress. Lamov tells him that he has come there with a purpose. He tells him that he wants to request him about something. Suddenly, he gets excited. Chobukov feels that he must have come to borrow money from him. Lamov starts to speak in talks about random things. Finally, he tells Chobukov that he has come there to ask for Natalia's hand. Chobukov gets excited at hearing this. Chobukov gets so happy that he starts to behave idiotically. He hugs Lamov and kisses him. Lamov tells Chobukov he wants his consent for the marriage. Chobukov tells him that he was always hoping that he would come to ask for Natalia's hand. Lamov starts trembling due to overexcitement. He says that if he would have looked for a perfect partner, he would have never got one and would have remained unmarried. He feels that Natalia is a good housekeeper. He says that she is not bad-looking and is very well-educated. He feels he is already too old to get married and now he should lead a quiet and regular life. Chobukov immediately rushed inside to call his daughter, Natalia. When Natalia arrived, Lamov began the conversation about how both families share a cordial relationship. He starts telling her that he has known his family for a very long time. He also tells her how he inherited his land and how he respects her father. He tells Natalia that his oxen meadows touch Natalia's birchwood. On hearing this, Natalia says that the oxen meadows are theirs. Natalia gets serious and tells him that oxen meadows do not belong to him. They actually belong to them. Lamov clarifies that he is talking about the oxen meadows that are between her birchwood and burnt marsh. Natalia insists that they are theirs. Lamov refuses it. He tells her that his aunt's grandmother gave those meadows to her father's grandfather. The peasants used the land for 40 years. Natalia refuses and sticks on her point that those meadows are theirs. Lamov, on the other hand, says that he has the documents to prove that it is his land. Natalia tells him that they had that land for nearly 300 years. Both of them continue fighting over the ownership of the land. Lamov offers to make a present of them to Natalia. She also says that she can make a present of them to him. They start shouting at each other. Chubukov also enters the room. Natalia asks him to tell Lamov that the oxen meadows are owned by them. Chubukov also supports Natalia and regards the meadows as theirs. Lamov refuses. Shubukov says that by shouting Lamov cannot prove that the oxen meadows are owned by him. Shubukov accuses Lamov by saying that he cannot talk to him so disrespectfully as he is twice of his age. 
Lamov says that he is calling his land as his and wants him to speak to him politely. He calls Chubukov a land grabber. Lamov threatens that he would take Chubukov to the court. A lot of abuses are exchanged between them. Chubukov says that Lamov's grandfather was a drunkard. His younger aunt Nastasia ran away with an architect. Lamov felt that he was dying so he could not say anything at that time. Natalia also calls Lamov a rascal. Chobukov calls him a villain and a scarecrow. He also calls him a monster who has the courage to propose. As soon as Lamov leaves their home, Chubukov tells Natalia that he came to propose her. Hearing the word propose, Natalia inquires him. Chubukov tells her that Lamov had come there to propose Natalia for marriage. Hearing this, Natalia starts crying. She asks Chubukov to bring Lamov back at once. Lama enters again. Natalia begs to be excused. They shift their talks to the dogs as Natalia tells him that the oxen meadows are his. They now talk about the dogs. Lama tells Natalia that his best dog cost him 125 rubles. Natalia says that it is too much. She tells him that her father had given just 85 rubles for the squeezer. She says that Squeezer is better than his dog. Lamov refuses and says that his lower jaw is shorter than his upper jaw. Natalia says that Squeezer is one of the finest pedigrees. They both continue fighting over the breed of their dogs. Chobukov enters and inquires about the matter. Chobukov also says that Lamov's dog is old and short. Lamov suddenly falls. Natalia asks her father what has happened to him. Chobukov thinks that he has difficulty in breathing. Natalia feels Lamov is dead. Chobukov then calls for water as well as a doctor. Chobukov seems helpless. He starts accusing himself. He asks for a knife and a pistol. He calls himself the most unhappy of men. He calls himself the most unhappy man. Lamov starts reviving. He took the opportunity and gave his daughter's hand into Lamov's hand. Lamov says that he sees stars. He asks where he is. Shobukov says that he should hurry up and marry Natalia. He also tells him that she is willing to marry him. He asked Lamov and Natalia to kiss each other. Natalia becomes extremely happy on hearing this. Shobukov also feels happy. He blesses them and starts celebration with champagne. 